In the United Kingdom, you may eat ducks, chickens, geese, and nah, not these. They all belong to the Queen. Well, all swans in the United Kingdom can belong to the Queen, but she mainly exercises this right on the River Thames. Of course, sorry. My name's David Barber, and I look after the swans wherever the Queen exercises her royal prerogative right. It's not a full-time job, although sometimes it feels like a full-time job. Every year, Mr Barber runs a census of the swans for Her Majesty, a bit like an annual checkup. This is called Swan Upping, and he does it with a whole crew, like this guy, this guy, and this guy. Swan Upping has taken place since the 12th century, where swans in those days were actually a very, very important food. Of course, today, swans are a protected species and no longer eaten. We travel in six traditional rowing skiffs from Sunbury on Thames all the way up to Abingdon. And it's about a 79 mile journey. What do we say when we see a swan? Oh. All up, all up. Each family of swans we come across, we will circle the skiffs around them, we will tie the wings in their legs, we will take them ashore, we will weigh them, measure them, and check them for any injuries. After we've done that, we will put a ring on them and we will release them back into the river. So if these are the queen swans, where is Her Majesty for all of this? She did come swan up in a few years ago and hopefully she enjoyed it. She seemed to enjoy it, but I can't answer for the queen anyway. I love swans, a royal bird. People here in the United Kingdom, they love them. And you know, I want to make sure that they survive for the future. All right, gents, let's toast. The Queen! The Queen! The Queen. The Queen.